Hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the mechanics of material of materials. I in this video we are going to introduce a new section. It's called okay, called Cartesian vectors. Okay. So and first of all, why we need the Cartesian vectors? Okay. So previously we said okay, we had showed the vector addition and vector and vector decomposition. Okay, and say we say and more and, and you might be you might find light uh, you might you might find that uh, um our example are all are all on two D system. Okay. In two D system force finding the resultant force or force decomposition, you just follow the parallel using the parallelogram and the trigon trigonometry. Okay, you can solve the problem, but as only for two D two D system. Okay, but uh, for the force calculation, we are not. Um, sometimes we are not dealing with the two D problem. So, if, for example, if you have you have the three D problem, how do you find the resultant force? Okay, or how do you decompose the force in the decompose the force in three D system? Okay, in three D system, okay, we in three D system, it's not easy to it's not easy to use the using the parallelogram or draw the triangle. Okay, that would be very make a problem difficult. Okay, or or not easy to solve. Or, okay, so we need another tool to treat the force vectors, especially you want to treat the force vector in three D three D space. Okay, so we we so we have to use uh, something called Cartesian vectors. Okay, Cartesian vectors sounds very weird. Okay, just the uh, okay the purpose of a Cartesian vectors just uh, express the vectors. It's just the purpose of this. It just express the vector. Express vectors by coordinate. Okay, by a coordinate. Yeah, that's it. That's called Cartesian vector because uh, the most the most often used used coordinate is called Cartesian coordinate. Cartesian coordinate. Yeah, in Chinese it's called Cartesian coordinate. Okay, but Cartesian coordinate is called Zhijiao coordinate. That's all you learn. Okay, you learn from your maybe high school, the junior high school to from the junior high school it's called Zhijiao coordinate. Okay, it's called Cartesian coordinate. Cartesian coordinate. You just want to express your vector by Cartesian coordinate. Okay, yeah. If you use your using the uh, coordinate to express your vectors, yeah, you will solve some. Especially in three D system, it's much easier to solve three D problems. Okay, and for the Cartesian coordinate, I think you are all have. We all have learned. Okay, so just brush up your memory. Okay, so let's start from the two D system first. Okay, so in two D system, you want to express your vector. You just using the two coordinate in two. You just express like this: a x i plus a y j. Okay, and i is conventionally i conventionally i is the x. Uh, uni vector, uni vector. We'll talk about uni vector later. Uni vector of x axis and j conventionally j is the uni vector of y axis. Okay, that's for convention. I j i is for x axis and j is for x j for y axis. Okay, so. Uh, x so here is an example. You have a vector here. You have decompose the x x direction and y direction, and the component for the x direction is called a x. The component of y direction called a y. Okay, x a y are component. Okay, x a y are co component. 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 Okay, and the component, and we have mentioned this before. The component is equal to the magnitude of a times cosine theta, and magnitude y magnitude uh, y component is magnitude of vector a times sine theta. Okay, as you all have learned this before. Okay, as for two D, the two D system, and magnitude of the magnitude in two D system. Okay, you remember that. Okay. Is component square okay? 
this component squared. That's for 2D system, component squared. That's a magnitude of a vector in 2D system. Okay. And just brush, just brush out your memory. Okay, so next one is yeah, look and look at it by yourself. I think it's very easy. It's not that difficult. Okay. And so if you express everything in the x express everything in the Okay. Yeah. It's express your vector in count in express it will express your vector by Cartesian vectors. Uh, the vector addition is just very easy. Just add a component by component. X component add X component. Y component add Y component. Okay. Here is a very simple examples. Okay. Here. Okay. Ah, uh, here. Is, uh, where should we start? okay so here we have two vectors okay after in using a cartesian vector expression okay it's a vector these v v vectors no have they all have its own component okay and then you add two vectors okay in previously with your graphical method when we say add two vector it's yes, a tail head tail head add them together right but if you express your vector by cartesian vectors I like this, you just add the component by component. X component, add X component. Y component, add Y component. Okay, so your resulting vector is equal to, I think this should be is here, but I just uh, make address here one more time. It's component, add Y component, X component, add X component, Y component, add Y component, and the J, okay? So this will be you. This will be a resultant vector expressed by Cartesian uh, by uh, by Cartesian coordinate. Okay, and then the magnitude is the same. Okay, magnitude is this component x component square plus y component square and take a square root. And tangent theta is the same. It's uh, x component and y component divided by x component is the same. Okay, here the, the graph on the left and uh, uh, sorry on the right is just show you. Okay, previously we say it's a tail head, tail head, and, and then the result is tail. Let's see, let's see, it's tail head, tail head, and resulting vector is tail head. Okay, that's graphical method. And here, okay, we just we just this 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 picture one just want to show you using the. If you're using the Cartesian vector, do a vector addition is equivalent to use the, the graphical method we used before. Okay, for example, yeah, A here we have X component, A X A Y. Okay, B B here, B is here, B vector is here. We have a B X component and B Y component, and then A X plus A B X is the result, the X X component of the resulting vector A. And b y plus a y is just the y component of the resulting vector. So using the vector, uh, using Cartesian vector to do the addition is equivalent to the graphical method we introduced before. So that's what it's just this is just the picture I want to show you. Okay, and the so in the two Ds is so so for example you find if you use it, when we start to use the coordinate system how to find the resultant force. Okay, how to find a resulting force. Okay, well, yeah, because right now we are just start on 2D system. Okay, if we use the coordinate Cartesian vector and then we want to do the, uh, find a vector, uh, find a resultant force in 2D system. How do we do that? Okay, in 2D system. So suppose I have a three force vector, F1, F2, F3. I want to find a resultant force. And then I want to use the Cartesian vectors. Okay, how to do that? First of all, very easy. You just decompose your vector to every each vector to x component and y component. Okay, for example, so f1 decompose x component, y component. F2 decompose the x component, y component. And f3 just decompose x component and y component. And how to find a resultant fact, resultant force vector? Just add all x component together and add the y component together. You will get f r x and f r y. Okay, that's very simple. Just decompose everything x y component and add all com x component together and add all y component together. You get your resulting 
you know, okay, those resulting vector. Yeah, but finding the resulting vector still uses a parallel. Still uses a parallel graph. Okay, so I think it just um, yeah, we just we just mentioned this before. So it's not uh okay it's, it's just uh i just uh, not uh, it's very easy just fresh out your memory so here is a quick example to uh to just do the practice okay here we have three force factor acting on oh okay he give you a coordinate x by coordinate okay and so this problem want to use you use the um coordinate system to find a resultant force okay so for 2D system, if we want to use Cartesian vector and finding the resultant force, okay, just decompose everything to X component and Y component. Okay, so let's let's, let's do this uh, exercise, easy exercise. Okay, a very quick exercise to let you understand uh, which color I should use. Okay, it's color. Okay, so we start. So we find a resultant vector in x component, or just add all x component to come together. So, so we have decompose f1, f2, f3 uh, to the x component and y component. And uh, for let's start from f1. So f1 is 400 newton. It's point to the left. Okay, and here when you do the um, do the okay. Do a calculation, of, especially on coordinate system. The com we have a convention here, the convention of sign, convention of sign. Okay, the convention of sign for the left point. Oh, sorry, point to the right or point to up is positive, and point to the left and point down is negative. In the coordinates in the Cartesian coordinate system, that's the convention of sign. Okay, so here is F1 vector is point to the left, so it's, it's minus 400. Okay, be careful this sign. This sign sometimes kill you. Okay, and so F2, so okay, F2 we have decompose F2 in the X component, Y component. Okay, so here is 45 and X, Y are perpendicular to each other or also corner to each other, so this must 45 degree. So F2 is 250, so okay, 250 and times, and time, uh, let's call sign 45 degree, okay, and it's cos 45 degree, okay, let's see its direction, it's the point to the right, okay, so it's positive, okay, so F3 here, F3 give F3 x make magnitude, magnitude is 200, okay, magnitude is 200, Okay, magnitude is 200. And it's x component. Okay, let's see. We, when we decompose this vector, it's this direction. Okay, and this direction. Okay, so for the x direction, it's give you a small a small right, right triangle here. It just give you the information of the ratio between the size. Okay. So X component, I think this should be mm, four over five. Okay, yeah, four over five. Okay, four over five. And uh, the next thing you should be consider is is point to the left. So there's a negative sign. Okay, so just be careful. Be careful for calculation, especially just for the sign convention. You need to be very careful. Okay, so okay, let's list the equation. So next thing is okay, y component. Y component. Because this F force one is only to point to left direction, there is no y, there's no y component, right? So it's, it's zero. Okay. And let's start from F2. F2 is point to this direction and it's um, y component is times sine 45 degree. And it's point up. It's point up. It's point up here. So this it should be a positive. And let's, three, let's see the F3, its magnitude is 200. And if they want to the uh, this uh, y direction component, y component is uh, 3 over 2. And it's positive. Okay, so let's do the calculation. Where's my calculator? Okay. 
Okay, let's calculate. Let's see, minus four hundred plus two fifty times cosine forty five degree, and uh, minus two hundred times zero point eight. So let's uh, let's run let's run the number to the no digit. Okay, <laughs> minus three eight three. Okay, minus means okay. Be make sure you know understand. Okay, the minus sign means it's point to the yep, the point to the the, the the negative x direction. Okay, let's see uh, what's in the f or f y. Why the resulting for some y component two hundred fifty times sine forty five plus two hundred times three divided. Why? Um, okay, let's say two hundred and ninety-seven, and it's positive. And positive in Y convention only positive is point up. Okay, so let's draw the resultant vector, resultant force vector. Okay. Okay, so like I say, x y is here, so it's minus three a three. Did I calculate right? Let me check my answer is correct. Okay, so three A three. Um. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's correct. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's say. Oh, it is three A three. It's point to the left. It's three A three here. Point to the left, and up is two nine seven. Okay, so the resulting force is here. This is resulting force. It's easy to draw a parallelogram. Yeah, very easy to parallelogram. It's vertical. Okay, okay. So what's and uh, what's the magnitude? Magnitude of resulting force. Okay, in two D system. Just a component square, sum of component square, and then take a square root, and you will get a resultant magnitude of resultant vector. Okay, that's uh, three three square plus two nine seven square. Take a square root, and let's run the answer to no digit four a five. Okay, and then what's the direction? Because the vector has the magnitude and direction, so there's a magnitude or resulting factor. And what's the direction? Okay, let's find a tangent theta here. Okay, tangent theta. Tangent theta is equal to yeah. yeah just put everything is positive. Let's make life easier. Okay, so tangent theta is x component three a three and y component two nine seven. Okay, two nine seven divided by three a three, and this is tangent theta. Okay, tangent theta is about zero point seven seven five point seven seven five. So, and what's the degree? So you need to use the arc tangent. Thirty-seven point seven nine. So let's say seven. Thirty-seven point eight. Okay, theta is thirty-seven point eight. Yeah, okay, the seven thirty-seven point eight is respect to the negative x-axis. So it's here is thirty-seven point eight degree. degree. Okay, yeah, we it's respect with it's with the respect to the minus x direction. If you count from positive x direction, that should be one hundred eighty degree minus. Thirty-eight point seven degree. Yeah, if you if you count this angle from x positive x axis, that should be one hundred forty-two point one hundred forty-two point two. But if you count this angle with respect to the negative x axis, is thirty-seven point eight degree. Okay, that's the same. That's the same meaning actually. Okay, I'm not. Okay, so this is uh, the, just tell this just a very short introduction of coordinate coordinate system, and we just show uh, okay start start from very simple one two D coordinate system, and two D coordinate system if you use the you want to do the force factor in two D coordinate system the final resulting force just decompose everything x component y component add all x component together add all and final 
YOL component together and then use the additional of force vector to find the relative resultant force and then in the direction. That's very easy to be very easy. Okay, so and next uh, we just start video here. And next thing we'll just in, just go to the three D system. The three D system has many many things to say. Okay. So okay, so okay. See you in next video. Bye bye.